think getting a clear sunset view up there after such a hard day, the reward felt so much greater for the effort that was put in. Um, yeah, after summiting fed, that was, I was like, it's not gonna get any better. That was, and I felt so good in that moment. I felt very, just like, oh, in sync with the universe to get that. I found what I was looking for in a lot of ways, yeah. So I knew that it was a place I wanted to get to, but you need to set aside a fair amount of time. I figured if I'm gonna do it, do it right. The full traverse, east and western, Scott's Peak, Farmhouse Creek. Like it's a, it's a long way, but you know, if you're gonna do it, do it right. I think that walking in solitude and the physical and mental challenge of that allowed, puts you in such a beautiful, state of mind, that you're very in tune with yourself and your surroundings and so that is an intrinsic part of making these paintings, is doing that. Um, I feel the essence of these places is not just their visual aesthetic, it is the silence that is there, it's the weird, all the weird little things that you notice, or the, the sharpness of the little bloody scrub that you walk through the stinging on your feet at the end of the day like yeah it's it's a lot of a lot of things that make that that provide the emotive quality to these places i consciously do go to the place to have a greater understanding of it i'm not going to see a photo of a place and then go paint it because i don't i don't know what that place feels like and i feel that's relevant in painting a landscape the more you know about it, the better. I just feel if I go there and try and be honest with the work that I make, that will just come through. I thrive in physical exertion. Like I love surfing till my arms fall off, or you know, walking till your legs hurt. Um, my previous works with the extinguishers was about that, the physical exertional process and that rah, kind of, that, moment of breaking composure. Uh, that came through in like really loose abstract works that were monumental in scale where you were pushing your body to that point of exhaustion and seeing what happened. It's just me letting go of a lot of things. Um, whereas these works are almost the what's after that. You've just walked for all day and then you capture a glimpse of one of the most dramatic scenes you've ever witnessed. You do kind of just stop and it is, yeah, it's, it's a really peaceful place to be. I'm the best version of myself walking around out there. Yeah, I think, you know, doing something physical feels good. You know, it releases all those endorphins, gets the body going. I think I also mean that in the sense of physicality within what I do. Like the, the texture or application of a paint, like using a lot of that beeswax, it's, it's a very physical medium, um, which allows nice form. And you can look at that many ways, but I think, yeah, the form of a landscape, the form of paint, it's all just, it's all just form. I really like that vertical composition because I feel that it allows a greater sense of scale like you can see that what's at your feet to what's in the horizon and the sky, I feel that, yeah, that's really important. And it's a part of moving through those places and passing through them. And I really, I wanted to do that to allow a greater sense of depth as well. I don't, I don't want the sky to be heavy. I don't want those distant peaks to hold weight. When I'm 
sitting there in the landscape looking at something. They're, they're so far away, they're fluffy. You know, they're, you, you could blow hard enough and they'd float away. Um, but what's foreground, that's heavy, that's super thick, a lot of beeswax. Very rarely using a brush for a lot of that foreground stuff, it's all knife work. But yes, they're not, none of the perspectives are from the bottom. I'm not, none of them are from the bottom of a tarn looking back up to the peak. They're, they're not always at the top, but they're just before it. Or they're just coming out of a big rocky twisted section where you can't really see much and then whoa, it opens up. So I think there's something in that surprise and that opening up to a view that's really, it's really beautiful. I think four paintings in the show that are from the top of a peak, and that's Fed Peak. Because I was lucky enough to get that as the sun went down, and I was just up there by myself. I felt that deserved some paintings, but that's the only painting from the top of somewhere. The rest are in transit, going down or coming up. And I think a lot of the compositions I used in the paintings, I tried to capture that transience. Because what, I, and essentially what I was doing, I was, I was just moving through that landscape. And I think that's in response to the show, that's kind of what it became about, was me waking up before dawn and going to bed after every sunset. I was, I was moving through it. And I tried to kind of capture that, I guess, in the paintings. <laughs> I, I don't think I'll ever stop walking. You know, I'm open to, to things just to naturally evolve. You know, that's how I ended up here in the first place. I didn't one day just be like, oh, I'm only gonna paint landscapes. It's just like what I found myself doing. So I think I'll just maintain that course. And that way they can still remain, hopefully honest works and be honest with myself in what I'm doing. I'll just do that and whatever work comes out of that will, will be what it is. But there's definitely some more places I want to go and some mountains I want to paint. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you've really got to respect the land that it is. It's like I don't leave a thing nothing but footsteps. And even then I'm very careful on where those footsteps are. Be the change you'd want to see, I guess, in that sense. At the end of the day, I do love doing it. Yeah, so, so fortunate to be doing this. And being able to just pick the best window of whether to go to a walk and then spend every day painting. Like that's just the dream, <laughs> like, yeah.